The Humber Lifeboat Station is quite a unique station within the island of Lye with 234 lifeboat stations and it's the only one with a full-time residential crew. We're that way operating because we're miles from nowhere and there's nowhere else in the area we can successfully operate this lifeboat. As the Umber is one of the busiest estuaries in the country, an awful lot of shipping goes up and down this, and, uh, ferries with up to a thousand plus passengers on. Uh, we've got a lot of gas rigs offshore, so I mean, it, it needs a big seven class lifeboat to, to, to you know, just for the potential of things really. There's seven full-time crew living out at Spurn Point with the families. We each have a, a, an hour and a life supplied house in our small village here. And uh, we do five days on duty and one day off. And then every seventh weekend. Life out at Spurn Point is pretty unique. You either like it or you don't. It's extremely isolated. It's very, very quiet. You can spend a lot of time sat on your bum doing nothing. Uh, and then you get periods of absolute crazy... Uh, everything that can go wrong can go wrong out in North Sea. You've got all that craziness and then straight back to the quiet sat doing nothing again. Spurn Point's a very unique place to live, but uh, I actually love it. I've always lived in the countryside anyway, and it's absolutely beautiful down here. It's a nature reserve. There's plenty of wildlife roaming around behind the houses. You know, we often get deer and foxes running about and it's just a beautiful place to be. Here's, uh, as you can see up at the station here, there's the lifeboat station houses and the crew rooms at the top here. At the end of the jetty, the lifeboat is moored out on a swinging mooring. We keep her out there because we've got a six, seven metre tide range and we can't bring her into the jetty. So if you want, we'll uh, go down the jetty and I'll give you a tour of the lifeboat. Welcome aboard, uh, Humble Lifeboat, seven class lifeboat, biggest of the hour and all eyes, uh, all weather fleet. And I'll give you a little tour around the uh, lifeboat. Follow me into the uh, to the wheelhouse. It's the main wheelhouse area just here. Is uh, wherever we're going from or to a casualty, we always do it from inside the vessel. Is the various positions we've got the mechanic, is the radio operator, navigator's position. Coxon actually does not drive the boat um, to and fro, he'll sit here and the helmsman will be driving the boat from here under the coxswain's direction. The, the area here is where we'd put a casualty who was sick and injured. We've got a dedicated uh, stretcher position. We're all advanced first aiders so we can look after just about anything. Uh, we'll go down to the main survival area. Watch your head on the way down. If we get a lot of survivors we'll actually put them down here You've got the same sort of seat so everyone can be strapped in uh, when we're underway. You start to see she's quite a big vessel, 17 metres long and she weighs around about 40 tonne. All the compartments are all compartmentalised with watertight doors so if we do get a, a breach of the hull we can still hopefully carry on. Two separate fuel tanks, um, five and a half thousand litres of fuel which gives us a range of about 240 mile at full speed. Through to the engine room. You can see through into the engine room. Two turbos there are quite warm. Twin 1200 horse Caterpillar V12 engines. They are completely independent of each other, but at the moment everything's configured so they can uh, share the load. We can uh, electricity, hydraulics, coolant, and everything is shared at the moment. If we lose one engine, the other engine can pick it all up. Coming out onto the deck. Is, is in the container just uh, down here is, is a self-contained salvage pump. If we get a vessel taking water, we can actually send that across on a rope or if uh, we need to, we can actually send it across one or two of the crew off the lifeboat and then they can start pumping the vessel out to keep it afloat. Any, any casualties we pick up, any boats we tow in, we take everybody back to Grimsby. Spurn Point is just purely our base. It gives us an head start into the North Sea. It's like having a five mile head start uh, out into the main shipping channels. We're alongside the main chip shipping channel in and out of the Humber. So it's perfectly based for a start, but it's no good for bringing anyone back here. So everyone goes to Grimsby. Tours 
2010 is the 200th anniversary of the Humber Lifeboat Station. It was first run for the first 100 years by Trinity House in Hull and the RLI took over the station in uh, 1911. To be the Superintendent Coxon on a bicentennial year to me is extremely special. It's very special to be part of this team in its 200th anniversary. I was uh, honoured when I was given the job and uh, when you get to know a bit more about the place and the history of it, it's, uh, it's a real honour to be here and proud to work for them. It, it, it's, it's, it makes you very proud that you're part of that 200th year history. Um, it's not just myself, me and my son's on the boat, you know, us two together in the 200th year, it's extremely important to us really. From day to day you don't know what's going to happen. There is no nine to five routine, every day is different, every challenge is different, you know, you've, you've got a group of people all like-minded wanting to do the same thing. To be part of that team to me is what really gives me my passion for what I do. You know, there are mundane jobs, but there are jobs where people's lives are at risk and that's the high point, helping somebody and saving a life. Yeah, that's one of the things you look forward to, you know, that you've helped somebody somewhere. 